drug addiction. It's been the plague of modern America, but that could now change forever. What started as a rumor may now actually be an incredible breakthrough in the battle against addictions of all kinds. Tonight, Quanfor's Greg Lyon uncovers the truth behind Ibogaine in a special report you'll see only on 4. When the Ibogaine has a number of strikes against it, it doesn't come from a modern laboratory, but from an ancient plant. It was discovered not by a scientist, but by a heroin addict. It is mildly hallucinogenic and completely illegal in the United States. But having said all that, when it comes to curing addiction, a reputable scientist believes Ibogaine is nothing short of a miracle. I didn't believe it. When I first heard about Ibogaine, I, I, I thought it was something that needed to be debunked. Dr. Deborah Mash is a professor of neurology and molecular and cellular pharmacology at the University of Miami. She is one of the few scientists in the world to study ibogaine, a mild hallucinogen that comes from the root of a shrub found in West Africa and was rumored to have the amazing ability to help drug addicts kick their addiction. This didn't come from the Salk Institute. This didn't come from the Scripps Institute. This came from a junkie who took a dose to get high himself. So the original observation came from the underground. Observations from this particular underground are not likely to gain the respect of mainstream society. That first report came in 1962, but decades would pass with little scientific investigation. They were decades during which the cost of addiction in terms of medical care, lost productivity, and crime and incarceration rose to $160 billion a year. The human toll was impossible to calculate. I had been, you know, pretty successful in my life. I had accomplished a lot of things I wanted to do. And then repeatedly, I just watched everything burst into flames and disintegrate because I could not stay off heroin. Patrick Kropa was a heroin addict for 16 of his 35 years. It just gets very tiring living like a slave because you keep chasing this and it's like, you know, you're not getting high. It's just, I ha must do this every single day just to get normal so I can function. Like most addicts, Kropa tried to quit, but treatment for addiction is notoriously ineffective. Only one in 10 addicts manages to return to a drug-free life. Most stay dependent on illegal drugs or their legal substitutes like methadone. You know, I was a spectacular failure at every possible treatment modality, every paradigm, every detox, every therapy, nothing ever worked. Even as Patrick Kropa despaired of ever kicking heroin, Dr. Mash was petitioning the Federal Food and Drug Administration to allow a scientific test of ibogaine, which by this time had been classified as a Schedule I drug on a par with heroin. In 1993, the FDA approval came through. We had a team of research scientists, doctors, clinicians, psychiatrists, toxicologists, and we wanted to go forward with this. But even with FDA approval, Dr. Mash could not find funding to look into what was, after all, a counterculture drug. In order to complete her project, she had to leave South Florida and go offshore to the island of St. Kitts. In 1998, clinical trials finally got underway. Patients were given carefully prepared oral doses of ibogaine. What happened next astounded the skeptical scientist. Our first round in St. Kitts, we treated six individuals, and I will go to my grave with the memory of that first round. It quickly became apparent that one dose of Ibogaine blocked the withdrawal symptoms of even hardcore addicts and was amazingly effective for heroin, crack cocaine, and even alcohol. I think we're going to see fantastic numbers. I think these numbers are going to be stunning. We'll see why Dr. Mash says that and what it feels like for an addict to take ibogaine with the conclusion of my report tonight at 9.30. Very Wednesday. exciting. That is yeah. amazing. Yeah, it is. We'll see you in about half an hour. Okay, great. Thank okay, you. Greg. And You're at every possible treatment modality, every paradigm, every detox, every therapy. Nothing ever worked. Well, nothing worked until he met a scientist who had set out to debunk a counterculture myth that a substance derived from a plant could help drug addicts kick their addiction. At the top of our newscast, we told you how the scientist was confounded when she started testing and discovered that the myth was true. Greg Lyon is back now with part two of the story of Ibogaine, the compound addicts are calling a miracle for curing addiction. Greg?
After testing 280 addicts, Dr. Deborah Mash is convinced that Ibogaine is simply the best treatment available to help end addiction to opiates like heroin and cocaine. It may also be extraordinarily effective against alcoholism. There are two reasons why. The first, science can measure. The second remains a mystery. I was scared. I was really scared. In 1998, Dr. Deborah Mash of the University of Miami was about to begin studies of a substance known as ibogaine, which comes from the root of an African plant. It was rumored among addicts to be extraordinarily helpful in kicking addiction. But few people outside the drug culture had heard of it, because ibogaine is illegal. It induces visions. It puts people into a, a four to six hours state of, of almost an active dream. It's like a lucid dream. As drug addicts in the studies were about to discover, during that dream state, something extraordinary happens. It's literally like a miracle. It was like nothing has ever worked, and this just did. Patrick Kropa was one of 280 people in Deborah Mash's trial of Ibogaine. Patrick was one of the worst opiate addicts, worst heroin addict that I have ever encountered in my life. His arms still bear the scars of years of heroin addiction, and he knows only too well what happened when the flow of drugs into those arms was interrupted. When you're going through withdrawal, you're sweating, you're shaking, you're freezing, you're hot. It feels like your spine is being smashed in a vice. It's pain. But this was different. Within 45 minutes of taking Ibogaine, he actually felt his addiction leaving him. That moment is the first time in about 10 years that I had actually been clean. Not, not just detox, but clean. That was it. That was the first time. That was like a miracle. That was four years ago. Patrick Kropa has not touched drugs since. I'm saying this, having been on heroin for my entire adult life. I mean, 14 to 30 is a long time. On one level, Dr. Mash understands some of what happens. Ibogaine in the body is metabolized into another compound called noribogaine. And noribogaine appears to reset chemical switches in the brain of an addict. So it resets the opiates, blocks the opiate withdrawal, diminishes craving and desire to use, and it elevates mood. But what of the visions people see? Of those, Dr. Mash understands very little only that they are somehow significant to the outcome. It's as if the plant is teaching you something fundamental about who you are as a person and why you've got yourself locked into this intractable pattern of behavior. Ibogaine will not work for everyone, and even for those for whom it does work, it is not a magic bullet. You need treatment, you need, you know, you need social workers, you need case management, you need medications, you need psychiatry. I mean, you need the whole, the whole boat of professionalism around this. Having said that, for Patrick Kropa and many of the other addicts in the studies, Ibogaine was a lifesaver. It's like if you suffer from terminal cancer and someone goes by and says, oh yeah, by the way, we cured that. We just passed this thing across you and it's gone. Even the skeptical scientist believes this ancient drug from Africa holds astounding promise for the modern world. I think we're going to see fantastic numbers. I think these numbers are going to be stunning. Dr. Mash will present her findings to the Food and Drug Administration next month. She hopes the FDA will eventually authorize further testing based on her results. In the meantime, Ibogaine remains illegal in the United States. We're both Pam, talking about how remarkable this mm -hmm. is. Certainly it? people with family and friends watching I want to want to know how to get hold of this or what mm -hmm. to do. Well, as we said, Ibogaine is illegal in the United States. It is, however, advertised on the Internet that you'll get no guarantee of quality unless it's given under medical supervision. And for now, that can only be done overseas. To learn more about that, you can go to cron4.com and click on the News Links button. Thank you, Greg. That's You're been fascinating. Yeah, it is fascinating. Keep us up on it. Yeah. We'll look for the FDA's uh, decision on you it. You bet. All right.